Hey guys, Ryan here from Indie Wrestling School, and today I'm going to talk about the time I lost not one, but two professional wrestling rings. That's right, lost. Coming up. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this channel. My name is Ryan for Indie Wrestling School. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put out new videos every single Thursday for Three Minute Thursday. So I know the the, the opening losing a wrestling ring it seems like it's it's going to be a, a swerve or a fake story, but it's 100% true and it's legit. I've actually owned four different professional wrestling rings over the course of my life. When I was about 21, I I tried selling my car to buy my first ring. Then I found out about this wonderful thing called financing and put myself into debt to buy a ring for the very first time. I had it for about a year and I had to sell it because I couldn't get a show running. I didn't, there wasn't a channel like this. There was nobody to give me advice. I had no information on what to go off. And I live in New Jersey. And unfortunately, the wrestling scene in, in New Jersey is very crowded. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of buildings that are quote unquote burnt out. And what that basically means is Nobody wants anything to do with wrestling because they've had bad experiences in the past. And there's a lot of shady promoters in New Jersey. Hopefully in your area, it's not like that. So after I sold my first ring, it wasn't very long until I decided I wanted to buy another one. This time I bought a lower ring. It was a style that it was only a foot off the ground. They call it a training ring or a backyard ring, depending on where you buy it from. And this particular ring I housed in the venue where we were running shows, which at the time was called Playball Sports. And we took a couple months off and then we came back to do our next set of shows and the ring was gone. They had changed owners and the new owners thought it was scrap metal and scrapped it. So they gave me the $500 that they got for the scrap of all the metal and equipment that was attached to the ring. I had paid $2,500 for the ring, so I knew I had to invest in another ring. At that point, we started renting a ring and it was easier just to have somebody bring the ring in, set it up for us, we did the show, they took it, and I didn't have to worry about storage, where to put the ring, because the new owners of this venue didn't want us to store the ring at the venue, so I was gonna have to pay storage fees. Over time, the venue once again changed hands, and now they were gonna allow us to store a ring, so it came time to buy another ring. At this time, I was running shows with Steve Carino. That Steve, Steve Carino. Carino. And I was lucky enough to learn so much from him. And at the time, he was running in Pennsylvania. We were running in New Jersey. Now, over the course of about three weeks, we lost an entire ring together. See, we had kept the padding and most of the materials at the place we were running shows in New Jersey. The next month, he was running a show up in Pennsylvania, so we transported the ring, but we forgot about the padding. Padding was thrown out. At the time, Steve was in charge of a gym up in Pennsylvania, so he housed the ring in the back of the gym and covered it up so nobody knew where it was. Turns out somebody knew where it was because all the metal pieces were stolen, except for the ring posts. So we kept the ring posts at our next venue, which was in Jackson, New Jersey, at the Knights of Columbus. We stored it inside a trailer so nobody could get to it. About a week later, Steve was running again. We had to bring the ring posts up to Pennsylvania. The ring posts were gone, along with the turnbuckles. Luckily, Steve has a lot of connections in wrestling and was able to get a ring last minute, but it was pretty close there. So between the two of us, we lost two rings. Eventually, I'd go on to buy another ring because, quite frankly, I just don't learn my lesson. So if you're out there and you're thinking, let me just store my ring at the venue, maybe think twice about that. Maybe the storage fees are, are worth the headache. I, I don't know. For me, I guess it should have been because I lost two professional wrestling rings. That's amazing. So hopefully somebody out there can learn something from my stupid, stupid mistakes. If you like this video, please beat the shit out of the like button, subscribe below, and I'll see you next Thursday for 3 Minute Thursday.